I am here to talk about doing the things we're afraid of and telling the stories we're made of. And for me, that is the golden cage. That's this musical I've been working on for many years, and now it's gone to the stage, and now I'm bringing it to, to the screen, and I just want you to join me in that adventure. And so I'm going to show you a little bit of behind the scenes in a second, uh, and I also want to just ask you to go to goldencagemusical.com, and it should be in the post, and just join the first to know list. This uh, musical is uh, going to be out in February worldwide on the Streaming Musicals Network. We're also doing a concert presentation of it in New York City at the end of November, get on the mailing list so that you can find out about everything that is happening with this musical. And notice that I am not playing the harp because this musical is all about a story that I am made of. It is the story that I have been telling and learning more about my whole life. And you can learn the story when you go to goldencagemusical.com, where you can also sign up on the mailing. Well, the main thing is to get on the first to know list, but I'm going to show you. So let's see if I can do this. I'm going to try to um, share my screen and just show you um, a window, which is, uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see if this works. Uh, my window... You know, this is the big challenge, whatever. Here we go, I'll just show you my screen. All right, so I'm gonna share this in which you are saying many, many, many of me. So one of the first things we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you here, this is the Golden Cage musical webpage, which is goldencagemusical.com. This is where you can join the first to know list. This is where you can get tickets for the November 30th live concert in New York City. This is where you can see the really cool awards that this show won in the Create Theater showcase earlier this year. And you can also link here to the trailer and learn about some of the events that I'm doing, some of the conversations that we're having, including this concert in New York. And look at this so cool poster. I wonder if I can make it bigger. Uh, well, okay, that took us to the... Uh, the event. Let's go back to the poster. This poster is so great. This is actually, let's see if I can get this bigger. This is actually, I keep going. I thought I knew how to use the uh, interwebs. It's a, uh, this is, this is Boris, one of the characters. He is a bird person. He is a human, but he has wings. And this is Althea, who is the person who is stuck in the golden cage. Anyway, you can learn more about it and learn about some of the events that I'm doing to unlock the golden cage. The most important thing is to just get on this first to know list. And here's what happens when you get on the first to know list. Well, you get to see this kind of cool get to know first to know list thing, which I think is very cool. So I'm going to put my name in here and um, whatever. I'll show you where you're going to get because I've already joined the list. And that is to a secret page and the secret page. And I hope you guys can see this because, um, okay, yes, I think you can. <laughs> All right, thank you for joining the first to know list. Welcome to the secret backstage golden cage page, which is your behind the scenes window. And if this is a page I made specifically to show those people interested in the show what we're doing. So you get to read here what the golden cage is and the storyline. This is our very first soundtrack test. You get to hear what it sounds like and the new orchestrations. And one of the things that's so cool, and I don't know if the um, the platform that I'm on right now, if you would actually be able to hear the difference in these right now, so I'm not gonna play them, but it's very cool to go there. And you get to look on this left side. This is how the show sounded originally in the theater. So it was originally with two characters and piano or two voices and piano. But now we're starting to add orchestration. So if you, you get to hear this, but expanded for with a whole orchestra. And here's another orchestration sketch. And you can see that these are the, um, you can see the numbers. So these are the videos, it's just rough edits. These are the videos that the video, um, video editors are working with right now. You can also see all these very cool poster designs. So we've got 
this was one of the poster designs taken straight out of the show. This was one where it took two two different images of the two different characters. This is for the November 30th concert. This is a really interesting poster. I'm hoping you're seeing this. I'm going to go back and see if I quickly can see it. Yeah, I think you're seeing that. Um, so this is kind of cool because it's got the characters as they look in one scene and then it has the characters kind of another way that they're looking. And it was very cool because what I did was I did a poster contest and these were, uh, four different people who won the contest. This is very cool. This is, um, this is sort of more liter literary, I guess. Um, if you look at this really closely, these bars of this cage are words from one of the original, one of the first songs that I wrote for this musical. So it's actually really fun to see that uh, the words are here. It's really great, really, really fun idea that this, that this designer created. And this was one of the winning designs that was just really wonderful. Wonderful. It's so simple, but it's got this just this sense of stardust. And then that we had that same designer go back. I don't know if I can do this. That same designer go back, take that design, and add the other character in for this reading. So it's been really fun to do all that. And you get to date. And there's tax. We're still raising money for the finishing costs of this film. And donate. Um, you can if if being tax deductible is important to you. This donation button lets you donate tax deductibly. So let me come back here, come out of this, uh, stop doing that. Okay. All right. So if you got any questions, you can put them in the chat. I'm only going to be here a couple more minutes. I just wanted to show you this because I really, the, the biggest thing that I want to do now is just make sure that I'm in touch with you, make sure that you know how to get on the first to know list so that I can let you know what's happening as stuff starts to happen with this show. And I really love this quote that someone sent me, which was, do the things we're afraid of and tell the stories we're made of. Yana just sent that to me. Yana, thank you. And that's exactly what I'm doing. <clears throat> I was afraid to take this to the next level for many, many years. And, you know, when we're afraid, it shows up in different ways. Like sometimes it shows up in like, oh, I just can't make that happen. I don't understand. Why isn't it working? Or it seems so confusing or um, who knows? There's a many different ways that it shows up. And I'm sure that that's true for you as well. So I'm going to be here for just a couple more minutes before I have a meeting. But I'm just curious if you guys want to share with me, you know, what are the stories that that you're made of? In for me, telling stories with music, that is what I have always loved to do. And it is what I love teaching people how to do. And it is what I get to see other people learn how to do in Hip Harp Academy, where I'm teaching harpists all around the world how to tell their own stories in however they do that with music. And that's something that a lot of people are afraid of. So I was afraid. You know what I was afraid of? And this, this is really interesting because most of you know me as a harp player. And I'm sure it never looked like I was hiding behind the harp. But that maybe looked like I'm fearless or something with a harp. And there is an aspect of that, that because the harp wasn't my deepest, deepest personal voice, my deepest personal voice is, is literally musicals, stories with music. And the harp allowed this a little bit of distance, and also it allowed my hands to have a voice, that that has made it easier for me to express myself, to have an instrument like this. And yet at the same time, it also allowed me to hide another part of my story that I'm really made of. And that is what the golden cage is. And there's other secret music that I have, and I have it that you have other secret music, that every one of us has secret stories that we are made of, that we are afraid to tell. And I love hearing those stories, and I love empowering people to tell those stories. And when I do, that empowers me to tell my story even more. So, most important, please join the first to know list for the Golden Cage. It will be worldwide in February. You will get to see inside my imagination 
Um, so, so join that. And then I'll look forward to telling you more about it. And you can get onto that list. You can get onto that page. You can see what's going on. You can ask questions. And I'm also having online conversations as part of the Unlocking the Golden Cage series that I'll be sharing with you, where I have conversations with other people in other fields about the themes of the Golden Cage. I hope I see you there very soon and farewell. Go forth, my friends, and harp on the good things in life.